All right. This time we want to simulate the birth and death birth death process combining the birth process and the death process. So, as usual, let's set the parameters first. Let's make it bigger. The first thing is delta t, that is time step. And we need both birth rate. Uh, let's put it 0 0.1 and death rate. Let's say 0 0.09 for the moment. Now, for convenience, as usual, we take a sequence. And time. And B2. And the population size. Let's start from 100. Uh, first, we need probability of death that is given by uh, actually uh, death rate. Death rate is B4 divided by the sum of birth rate and the death rate times uh, 1 minus exponential of uh, the birth rate and the death rate times delta t times the population size, the previous population size, that is e2 in this case. So that's the uh, probability of death and the probability of birth at each step is similar to this one but uh, instead we use the birth rate here just just this difference okay so this is the birth uh, death rate this is the birth rate and then uh, we put random number here just run this and this is based on this random number we uh, put increment or decrement so that is if this random number this is less than the death rate we put negative one so we decrease the population size by negative one Otherwise, if the random number is less than the sum of uh, the death rate and the birth rate, then we increase the population size by 1. Otherwise, it stays 0. Okay. So let's copy these. Uh, and also the next population size will be the sum of the previous population plus this increment okay so let's copy this all the way down to 1000 uh, here okay so this simulates the birth death process so let's plot it as usual and the x axis should be time and the y axis should be the population size so here it is Okay, so every time we edit this file, we get a different trajectory or sample path. And if we increase the birth rate, let's make it twice as big, then it will be uh, almost monotone increasing. And if we increase the death rate to, let's say, 0.12, then it will gradually decrease and so on 
This way you can simulate the birth-death process. And that's it.